So the question was about image tracing in Illustrator and what happens when you want to print the invert of an image. To show you what I'm talking about, I have a Photoshop image. It's a raster image placed in Illustrator here. And if I go to edit, edit colors, invert colors, you'll see all of a sudden the leaves on this pineapple look all uplit and the eye sockets are glowing, the skull is black. So we need the eye sockets to be dark, we need the leaves to look correct. So what I'm gonna do first here is I'm gonna image trace this. So we just click on our default image trace and I'll click expand and that turns it to vector. Just select some of the white and select same fill color and hit delete. So now what we have is just a black skull and no white background. So this white background is just the artboard. Um, you know what I'm gonna do actually, let me go over the gray here so you can really see what's going on. So what we wanna do is let's turn this to white and then go Command C, Command B, paste in back. And let's turn that back image to black. So we have the white on top of the black. Uh, let's lock the white and select the black image. And let's just add a stroke to it. And in our stroke window, we wanna turn our caps and our corners to round. And let's just increase that stroke. Let me hide the selection there. So increase that stroke till it starts to look pretty good. And again, let me, let me unlock all and let me just move everything over here onto the white artboard. So we're almost there, but we need the eye sockets to be black. So you could do a number of things here. You know, the easiest might be just to put a black circle right behind it. So that's starting to look pretty good. What we want to do now is let's go to Object Expand and we're expanding the black image, not the white image. And we're expanding all those strokes to fills. And if you can see my selection, there's a ton of points in there right now. So what we want to do is let's get our Pathfinder window, hit Merge, and then we'll just, with that still selected, we'll just sample that black again and that's starting to look pretty good and i've still got it selected let me just hide the selection so you can see what's going on if we use our pencil tool we can go in here and kind of clean things up a little bit so you know we can start to make it look a little more natural and the other thing i was looking at was this part right here i don't like these little these little ribs so what we can do is just draw over that with our pencil tool. And that's looking a little more natural. And we can go in there, kind of get smooth out some of those corners just to make it look a little less computery. So there you go. That is how to flip out a black and white image and make it look good on the opposite colorway.